time we were here, we found Matt's Big Breakfast, and oh, it was off the hook. This time, it's a new place that what used to be a fast food taco joint is now called Over Easy, where doing a quality breakfast is really their thing. Chicken fried steak with an Over Easy egg. So delicious. Our favorite Sunday breakfast place. It's fabulous. Really? I love it. I love places like this that have more of the hearty breakfast food. It's diner food. It's that local Midwest kind of feel to the place. Scrambled hard sourdough. And Chef Aaron May might have trained all over. Here, Paris, New York. But his roots are pure Midwest. You're from Chicago. From Chicago. You come to Phoenix because... You don't have to shovel sunshine. <laughs> But you do need a place to eat. Kind of open it just for ourselves to have a place to go eat breakfast. For you, it's old school French toast and two eggs, sunny side up, and they are awesome. I have the uh, corned beef hash. Delectable. Delectable. Red eye gravy and ham. It's delicious. It's the gravy on the ham steak that really makes it here. We're making some chicken stock that's going to go to chicken stew and then become red eye gravy. This is like red eye gravy gone wild. Yeah, next step, we're going to bring uh, a whole chicken and some extra chicken backs that I got laying around. It's nice to have an extra chicken back laying around. I'm going to cover that with cold water. So it's kind of like an Alaskan chicken hot tub. There you go. I'm going to add onions, good amount of carrots, and celery. I've got some parsley stems. Because there's a lot of flavor coming out of those. I've got thyme. On your mind. On my side. Da -da -da. Peppercorn. So we're going to let this sit here and simmer for two hours. So now we're on to part two, the chicken jus. So I'm going to take the chicken and I'm going to add it to the butter. Chicken wings, chicken drumheads. This is where the chicken back came from. And I'm going to cook it down and I'm going to let it brown. And I got some white onion to add to that. Yeah. Now I'm going to cover it with chicken stock that we made. Where did you learn this little technique? Uh, this is something, uh, you know, old school European. This is my right hand guy, Wally, way to make chicken jus. It's, it's beautiful. As soon as this reduces, that takes us an hour or so. Right, we're going to strain it. Strain it. it. Is that chicken rhythmic or what, man? I've had pork tastic, but that's chicken rhythmic. Add the coffee to it and reduce that to a stick and gravy like. All of that for a sauce for ham steak. Exactly. That's good. A delicious sauce for ham steak. This guy. Out of bounds. Ham steak goes flat top. Put that down on the flat top. A little black pepper. And what do we serve on the high side of the ham steak? Potatoes. Nice hash brown said ham steak on there. Some of that red eye gravy. Don't be shy with that. Oh, I'm not going to. Mm, that was really good. Thank you. But that really has some depth. That's like a sauce. Yeah, you get another dimension. Yeah. It's going to be a little bit hard to admit, but that's better than my red eye gravy. It's delicious. Oh, it's really good. Three eggs, steak, and chili. Got it. The menu is very unique, and they have something for everyone. Two egg breakfast. Eggs, hash brown, bacon. Bacon's delicious here. Because Aaron's taking the extra steps to bring in what he loves. Bacon from Wisconsin, sausage is made locally. Salchicha atrás. And the time to make almost everything from scratch. Baking our own stones, the whole nine yards. Blueberry muffins with the lemon curd. So it's the real deal here. We think so. Chicken fried steak coming up. Make our own chicken fried steak. We make our own gravy. We take a lot of pride in doing all that from scratch. Really good, real juicy. We're making country gravy for the chicken fried steak. So I'm going to start with a little butter, dump that bacon in there. I don't know, he's trying to give me diet plate or something. This is uh, some of our chopped up breakfast sausage. So you put a little more crisp on that bacon, and then you're going to hit it with some flour? Exactly. Pick that out a little bit. Add a little milk. We're going to let it come up to a boil. You don't make yours very tight. No, we don't make it super tight at all. And then what are you going to season it with? Salt and pepper. And uh, I'm going to add fresh herbs, chives, and parsley. Butter, bacon, sausage, flour, milk, and chicken fried flip flop would be fine with that on it. No, no. Okay, now two chicken fried steak. Granny with a garlic. Cumin. Cumano. A little cayenne, Hungarian paprika. Ooh, so you got a little bit of spice on it. Onion powder. Really good. Onion. Really nice. A little black pepper. Season it up with a little salt. A little and then flour. Boy, that's going to be a pretty bountiful seasoning. Yeah. So okay. now we're going to pound out a steak. This is cube steak. Lightly, gingerly. There. It's nice and thin. Let's make a little egg wash. A little milk. Salt and pepper. I love your precise measuring. It's very, very precise over here. A little bit of salt and pepper. Dredge it in the seasoned flour. Flour sticks to the wet meat, the egg wash sticks to the flour, and then the flour sticks to the egg wash. It was sticking to the wet meat. It lives in the house at Aaronville. Drop it right into the fryer. 350 degrees, canola oil. Crazy tasty. Cook that up with an egg. Hash browns down, chicken fried steak right on top of that. Get a little egg right there for you. And then we're going to go for the gravy. There you go. Here's a little homemade tomato jam to go with those potatoes. Mmm. It doesn't lack in flavor. <laughs> it really doesn't. I think the fried steak is dynamite. Mm. It's really good. It's tender. Super tender. Mm. Hang on a second. The hash browns with some of that tomato relish, this is just out of bounds right here. Mmm. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Gravy, it complimented it, so it made everything just that much better. Very, very good. They have really unique food on their menu. Like French toast made with brioche. Banana, pecan, caramel French toast. Look at that. Ah, there's bananas. Really, there's bananas. When we come back. Bananas is good. He's hit the hottest spots from Coach. Chocolate waffles. And over 
easy in Phoenix, Arizona. I need two eggs over hard with bacon and wheat toast. Aaron May is dishing out the comfort food. Rudy, you got a ham steak with gravy on the side? Anything I should try first time I come here? Wolf pack. Wolf pack. Hash browns, bacon, egg of choice, cheese of choice, hash browns. Can't go wrong. It's a one of a kind place. And this Paris trained chef. I need a banana French toast. Is giving his French toast a French twist by making it with brioche. Oh, I want to try a piece of this. Absolutely. Mm. Who makes this for you? A guy named MJ right down the road. Oh. Makes all the bread here. It's fantastic. How big? Yeah, that's good. See that? On a 90, baby. That's how they would check it. We're going to make a caramel sauce now. Okay. Banana caramel sauce. All right. Heavy pan. Put my sugar in there. Put some heat? Yeah, a little heat. Just start melting that sugar down. So here you go. It's starting to melt. Turn into caramel, basically. So I'm going to turn that heat off. We're going to whisk in some cream. Whisk cream you want. This one? That's perfect. Pour that in. I'll start whisking. All right, it's looking good. Keep going. Perfect. We're going to add a tiny bit of butter, a little bit of salt. Pump that caramel on yeah, really stand out. That's really one of my favorite things, yep. the salt and caramel. And I'm just going to take some sliced bananas. But caramel sauce bring those up to town. Exactly. Now we're going to make our egg wash with a French toast. Dig it. A little bit of cream in there. A little cinnamon. Cinnamon, uh, I've got a couple of vanilla beans that I split. Madagascarian. Yes. As far as I know. Whip this up. Get the soft peak whipped cream going into the egg. Break up the vanilla beans. Now there's a little dunk, dunk griddle. Exactly. Dunk, dunk, and then over to the griddle. This is a big cellar here. This is a huge cellar. People love this one. We're done. <laughs> We've got our banana caramel sauce. <laughs> Finish that with some toasted pecans and a little because we need ten more. sugar. That's gonna be straight delicious right there, guys. Well, see, you're talking to a guy that's not a huge sweets fan, but what's saving it is the salt in the caramel. You had me at hello there. <laughs> that was delicious. You gotta come try this. This is crazy. The brioche. I just gotta show the camera. Look at that. The perfect bite. Awesome. This really is bananas. And bananas is good. It's just luscious, really sweet. Good combination I've never had before. Enjoy it, guys. It's just really fresh, homemade. really like the atmosphere, and it's nice and homey. Have you all been here before? Yes, many times. Many, 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 many times. I love it. It's great. It's, it's really been a lot of fun. You're awesome. Great job. So I told you, if it's funky, we'll find it. I'll see you next time on Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. Put them up like this. Jazz hands. Shake them. Jazz hands. <laughs> And he threw a little rhythm to it. Yeah, <laughs>